we put the sandbags out, but it did not matter. I mean, the wall, the, the water was coming through the walls. Local business owners and residents are cleaning up and starting to fix the damage from yesterday's flooding. Good evening, I'm Karen Swenson. And I'm Sharice Gibson. It's a cycle we seem to be seeing more and more often. Flood, repair, repeat, flood, repair, repeat. And after Monday's flooding, today is yet another day of repairs. Erica Ferrando spoke with crews cleaning up and joins us live from St. Charles Avenue. Erica. Well, here outside the remedy room on St. Charles Avenue, just look at this pile of baseboard that has been taken out from inside this entire building. They're already starting repairs throughout this building on St. Charles Avenue, and this is the second time in the last two months that they've had to clean up and begin repairs. It's a busy cleanup day across the city. Sweep up, hose off. While Mark Carter cleans outside the Avenue pub, cleaning crews are inside heirloom furnishings. As soon as the water receded below the sandbag level, they were here. Any type of heavy rain, pretty much we get calls then. Several inches of water came inside, but manager Carl Adams feels lucky. Well, I've got a couple of rugs that have to be cleaned, but that's it. The furniture all seems to be fine. Down the street at the remedy room. We put the sandbags out, but it did not matter. I mean, the wall, the, the water was coming through the walls. Cleanup and repairs will take a little longer. Same thing over again, where we're going to be out of business because of the repair work that needs to happen. The remedy room is in this building on St. Charles with several businesses and apartments. On the last six weeks, uh, we floated twice. Alex Russell with Russell Construction was hired last month to fix up the building after the July 10th flood. You just put the last piece of baseboard here yesterday around four o'clock. But just as they finished up that month long project, water started coming back into the building. Everybody's really sad, everybody. Not just the business owners, but as a contractor, I'm in sad as well. Russell is already ripping up the walls. All over again. And getting ready to start over. I need to rip it off all the baseboards. I need to cut all the drywall. While these businesses are reopening after cleanup. We're very lucky. We're trying to get open as fast as we can. They're all desperate for a fix to keep this from happening again. Very sad about doing the same job twice in six weeks. Uh, we don't see the city doing much. Most businesses I passed by earlier this morning were open after yesterday's flood. The remedy room here plans to reopen tomorrow, but with construction beginning again soon, they're not exactly sure what the future of their business will look like. Live in New Orleans, America Ferrando, Eyewitness News. Um.